<laughs> Falling into a temptation one thing, walking to one or something else. <laughs> I know I'm walking here just case on the clothes. Right. They walk through the woods and they gotta they gotta leave in the trail. There's a cage underneath the leaves in the trail, and you walk across that particular part, and it drops in, you fall into the cage. That's one thing. But to see this cage here, I'm going to just go into it, hope the door stays open. Yeah. And then the door comes down shut. We know the cage you walked in. Why is you walk in? Why is it winter? Another class. Anyhow. By a new and living way, which he had consecrated for us. He did it all for you. That you can get, this way is already consecrated, and all you got to do is just go into it and, and, and put your petition up there. Yeah. So, Lord, you know me. That's my personal sister. Yes. Save me. Yes. Just real short. Yes. Lord, you know me. Save me. Uh -huh. yes. About five words, just the whole grand. Ten thirds, I five words. Sometimes it's getting there, just, I don't know what to say. Lord, oh God, <laughs> save me. And that's it. I can't tell you how I want to do. I can't. I want to be here with that prayer anyhow. It's real hard. You get an idea how real God is and go confess to God. You just say, Lord, you know, they put your head down, they cause your eye, you beat them down, and say, Lord, save me. Yeah. It might take a while to pray a prayer hmm. on your knees, you know? Then you go up your knees, and you, 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 I hate to pray a prayer redundant because it makes it sound like God is stupid, because, but it's not, but I feel like that that's just not enough. Right. So when I get done, I say, Lord, save me for everything. <laughs> <laughs> In case I left something out, I said, save me. Right. <laughs> And we can come in boldly because there's a high priest over the house of God. What about this high priest? Not like Aaron and those who died. This high priest lives forever. And so your confidence and salvation and forgiveness of sin should be forever. It should change your whole mindset. I mean, those who have been listening to these messages and hearing this word of God, your whole outlook on salvation should have been revolutionized. You should have been set free Amen. for the first time in your life. Yes. Heaven should be, you know, the, the, like I said, the rapture should no longer be a deadline. But it should be an expectancy. Yeah. It's like, you know, for a while we're counting days the same as time we had to get together. Now we're counting days to see how soon I can go. Huh? Yes. It's not something to be afraid of no more. Because now you know you're gone. Huh? Because you realize I'm not gone based on how good I am. I'm going to be called based on how good he is. Right. He paid the price. He made a covenant. He made an agreement. He, he made an agreement that he actually, they go, the last will and testament doesn't kick in until the person who made the will and testament dies. He made a new testament, a new covenant, and then died. And like the New Testament, all things are purged by blood. He purged a new covenant by his own blood. Amen. He can't undo that. Amen. It's done forever. So your salvation was eternally secure. This is a scripture I've been looking for. I, and I have not been able to find it. And I'm just going to glance and see. I can't tell where to look for it because I can't pull it. 